Good evening, everybody, all the Super Metroid fans out there. We have a uh, decent race here tonight. It's a mystery from our Dash Mystery Tournament. Uh, two runners here tonight. We got Vibrant Colors on the right. We got Zeb316 on the left. Uh, tonight here tracking, we have Gestron Trackers. Uh, I am Lies, and with me here is JXB Adam. Uh, tell us a little bit about uh, what's going on here tonight. All right, so tonight I'm going to be probably saying a whole bunch of wrong things about Super Metroid, and Lies is up here to correct me. So I, th I think that's the uh, plan. Yeah, um, well, so uh, go ahead. We'll see. We'll see. This is a mystery. Who knows, right? Absolutely. We're going to find out who did it. Will it be Ridley with the candlestick in Lore Norfair, or will it be Dragon in Kraid's Lair with the uh, shock turret? I don't know. So I but, have about 10 seconds here, so I'm going to get started here in just a little bit. Um, what are we looking for? We're looking for what's on the morph pedestal, right? Because that's going to tell us a little bit about what it is. Oh, and we have... Oh, we got full countdown, vanilla charge. Let's go, people. Here we go. So we're going to have our uh, usual trip down to the Morph Pedestal. Most likely we will find the Morph Ball there. If not, the Morph Ball will be in the ceiling because without the Morph Ball, we can't really do much in this game. And as somebody else once told me, the Morph Ball is required. All the other items in the game are uh, negotiable. Um, so the other things that we've got is... Uh, We've got some random ammo distribution. We've also got a couple of potential uh, additional items in the pool, the double jump and the heat shield. Um, the double jump is like a little baby space jump where you get a, a first jump and then a second jump. And wow, high jump, oops. Wow. Boop. Boop. <laughs> See, <laughs> words are hard. They are. But what's nice about those is now we don't have to damage boost to get this uh, morph ball in the ceiling. Let's see which of our runners remembers that. Yeah, let's see. Very good. I like to say that that's one of the hardest parts, uh, parts of the game is remembering the items you have. And you see right. Vibrant, she did set up for that damage boost. She did, yeah. So we got one more major here. Now, now... We know that this last major here in Criteria is not a suit. Um, it could be something good, though. It could be something required, like a speed or an ice or something like that. I don't know how much you check for it, um, especially considering we don't know whether this is area random. We don't know whether this is vanilla area. We're not sure too much yet. But uh, those four That's e true. Are, might be nice, you know. Yeah, I'd at least like... Whoa, okay, I forgot to get the E-Tank there, Vibrant. <laughs> <laughs> So I I agree. I think it, I think here you check what's on your path. We don't have any power bombs, so we're not going to be able to check the meme route portal. So we don't know if we're in area or vanilla map, and we also can't check old mother brain. All right. So we're going straight to BT Bomb Torizo, and he's either got bombs or power bombs or screw or something random because if it's area random, we do have a portal available over on the right there on top. That's correct. I think we do. We have one or two. I think we just have one, one with the super. Yeah, just one. We'll see what Bomb Terizo has for us here. So if it's Morph Ball bombs, Bomb Terizo has something we don't get in every seed, and that's a fight for Samus. Yeah, a quick one, but a fight nonetheless. Yeah, way. yeah. Those super missiles will make it less of a fight and more of a stand up and explode. Right. Right. All right, let's see what we got. And they are power bombs, so we will see them go left up here. Do you go down and check 230 missiles? With um, This is probably the closest this, you're going to beat a 230. Might, might um, right yeah, it's... If I were going to go down for 230, I might consider going all the way down and checking meme route just to not leave it orphaned. Um, and... We see Zeb going down here, gonna check 230. Yeah. I think if you go all the way down, you probably want to save, just in case meme route portals like Torian or something, you know. Torian, uh, Croc with nothing, 
Right, right. Um, there, there are quite a few things. Uh, lower Norfair, any, any portal you can't follow. Of course, under that circumstance, I'd also consider... Well, we only have five power bombs, so a trip through Gauntlet is very, very risky at this juncture. Yeah, and we can only get that front item. I don't think we can even get all the way back. Only if the front item lets us. Right, right. And it can't get out, so the front item's got to let you get out, too. So. Wow, oops, almost all supers. All right, but I definitely uh, peaked the back of Gauntlet here. Yeah, Zeb's got Zeb's doing exactly what I would do if I could play this game. <laughs> Did you see it? I, I looked away. Wasn't yeah, it good. was a super missile on the left and an E tank on the right. So it, not terrible actually, and we do have area randomization. Okay. Not going there. All right. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, that's a bust. Uh, let's uh, try door number two. There we go. In the meantime, Vibrant heading up, gonna get that same information that Zeb just got. It's nice to know that there is an E-Tank back there. Oh, door number two is a bust. We are turning around. Yeah. We'll head back. Uh, so, no power bombs means we can't go all the way to the right, but we can check that right portal uh, that goes down by the crabs there. Yeah, there is some disgustingness in this seat already, potentially. All of these portals could be a bust, and we might have to go all the way down for either Old Mother Brain or Billy Mays to get more power bombs. Yeah, true. Well, that would be terrible for the runners. Well, it, yes, uh, terrible is always a frame of reference. Right, right. So at this point, I think we, uh, yeah, we're just going to go check these portals over here. Going to drop the power bomb and then refill. I like that, Zeb. That's smart with only five power bombs. Heads up play. See, that's something I wouldn't have thought to do. I would have probably, you know, went in, saved beforehand, and then just been going. Right, right. So we're going to peep out this bottom right portal over here. And if this is nothing, then... Oh, we, I guess we can go to the right. we got to do a continuous wall jump, CWJ, over that moat. So hopefully this is something. And it, uh, uh, It's Red Tower, so that's something with one major and one E-Tank. Yeah, with one major. Let's take that. Yep. At the very uh, least, I like checking the moat item here, because this could be the other major. Um, it could also be uh, another E tank, or another power, bomb, or which is more power tank. bombs, which unlocks Gauntlet. Right. Let's see if Zeb gets this jump here. Oh, not quite. Yeah, that CWJ, not a free trick at all. Very, very touchy. You even saw Zeb turning off the high jump boots yeah. before going for it. Yeah, I don't think that's possible with high jump on. So, I, I, I'm assuming there's no way to do that oh got the he's got the first jump that second one i think he's a little late on that second one yeah and there's a backup through the door which uh not intentional and vibrant <laughs> here's just getting the item um oh. i i think at this point i would even bail on this if i were zeb because you're sinking yeah. a lot of time and Vibrant's even caught up at this point. Vibrant might mm -hmm. gonna be setting up again because I don't think Vibrant uses Moonwalk. Oh, that's gonna make this jump much tougher. Yeah. It's funny they're both going for this. They have Red Tower open. Uh, am I missing? They, they, can, they have all the Red Tower open with a Major. Oh, very close call. Yeah, there's Major down there, plus uh, Red Tower is one of the hubs of the game. I think there's five, four or five transitions off of it. Yeah, looks like color bailing. Take out that red tower. I mean, if this is something good though, if this is crate or something, I mean, then you don't ever have to come back here. Well, so I mean, it's possible. This is worth it. Yeah. There it is. And there, Zeb does get it. What we got? And Green Bryn. Bryn. That's mm. that's nice. 
it might have been worth it there's a lot of items here uh two majors three e-tanks and it's very concentrated so this is might might have been a good yeah. move well we've got vibrant finding upper norfair with three majors and one e-tank that's also very nice um got a few items available with the high jump location uh we can look at the ice beam location oh my goodness oh that was uh that was the play <laughs> So Man. yeah, the pipe the pipe has the dream for Upper Norfair. Best uh, Vibrant could find here would be maybe the uh, dash specific heat shield. Yeah, right. Uh, only Vibrant could find gravity here as well, and that would be an interesting kind of way to see which how they both play it. So we'll see what's up here. Yeah, that's absolutely right too. If Vibrant were to find gravity here, then you could she could immediately turn around and the uh getting across moat is now a gravity jump away right yeah true it's funny I, I played a match against colors a long time ago and both of us got stuck on the cwj me for much longer uh, but uh, uh you know it's one of those jumps that's tough I, I love the fact that we have at least one member of our chat upset that we didn't gamble as Zeb finding Wavebeam. And because uh, they would have lost, and that's why they're upset, and I'm confused. <laughs> you, yeah, if you would have picked Gravity, you would have lost there, my dude. <laughs> Alright, so there's your two might majors up in Green Bryn. Uh, Wave and Varya. Decent. Ah, well, that's a pretty good haul, and I think I'd still, yeah, yeah go exactly what Zeb's doing. There's still two more E tanks in here. Uh, those are nice. Plus, we could get a little more ammo. We're starting to see a lot more missiles pop up. Um, there's Rex Ship. Back of Rex Ship, and two majors, one E. You can progress that way with the high jump boots. That's, that's that's a way to go. Oh, well, part of the mystery is like three main things. Uh, one is the item split, which we know is full countdown. Uh, one is whether it's area or not. We know it's area. And, and the last one here is bosses. We don't know whether uh, bosses are vanilla. It could be shifted, which means they've like moved areas. They could be uh, shuffled, which means that the doors are mixed up uh, or they could be surprised so there's still lots of things that we can see here for bosses um i'm open for surprise honestly but uh, we'll see what we find you know i have yet to see that fabled four ridley seed that people keep oh, telling man. me it can exist yeah that would be something yeah i think something the runners would definitely not want to yeah. see can you imagine that'd be crazy Do have area, that's true. We're gonna need uh, some more supers or some charges, some charge by uh, beam. Yeah, I think there might be enough supers available to us. We've seen a few packs that we just didn't go pick up. Um, okay. All right, so Zeb found Meridia at the top and that's a long, oh, there's a save there. Yeah, take the save, drop down, see yep. what you find here. If that one major's in the crab tunnel, then uh, that's easy to get. We can grab that um, and then drop down. Check yeah, the port. I, I think we can get crab tunnel. I think we can also uh, get over here to Mama Turtle with the high jump. I could be wrong about that, though. I am wrong about a lot of things. I don't know if you can reach the middle top item with just high jump. But someone might correct me on that. I, I don't believe you can. Maybe with high jump and power bomb, you can do a fancy thing that I don't know how to do. But uh, yeah, I'm not sure. All right, Vibrant has been going through Red Tower while we've been talking about all of the Meridia shenanigans, uh, mm -hmm. finding a super missile at Beta Power Bombs, an E tank, and a missile at Alpha Power Bombs, and discovering that the major is one of either Spazer location or X ray. And for Zeb, this fall down is in logic. Uh, as we did see at the top, there is that uh, save station that is specifically to prevent this fall down from becoming just a soft lock with a transition you can't use. That super's up there. 
Oh, and colors found. Hey, colors oh, found me. <laughs> so, ooh, and gets a shiny reserve tank. If your colors, you go up to Billy Mays and try to find that last major here. You know that last major, if it happens to be the charge beam, is a very big find this early. Right, right. This is tough too for Zeb and getting out of here. Yeah. yeah, this is well with high jump, we're going to be able to go down. I don't think we can't get back up though. Uh, as vibrant, she is checking Billy Mays. We get to see what does the man have for us tonight. I don't hate this check. I mean, it's uh, relatively quick. You're down here anyway. Um, yeah, we'll see. And Croc is and, empty tonight. And we're not betting on Croc tonight. Croc gets to live. And look at that. And it's that, plasma. That plasma is not going to be picked up by Zeb. I I'm fairly certain. So. No, not at all. Helps, yeah. Also, you know, the free E-Tank with Plasma Beam Pickup, that's also very, very nice of Billy Mays. It's a combo I would get every time. I can't argue with that. Oh, gonna do right. Some check that uh, color already did. So this red tower yep. found his way there finally. Yeah, that was through the uh, crab hole, I believe, is what that one was yeah. called. Plasma beam already coming in handy, wrecking those side hoppers. Yep. I do anticipate that Zeb will at least go through when when Zeb sees meme route will go through and at least check the item behind the power bomb wall. I'm not sure if Zeb will go all the way to Billy Maze though. Yeah, I mean I could be wrong, but I, I agree with that. I, I don't know if Zeb's gonna take the time to do that. We'll see. And our major in red Bryn yeah. is morph ball bombs. Very nice. Nice to have. All right, so I think Colors is going to get forced uh, possibly to do that CWJ. Uh, that CWJ, while difficult, is in logic uh, okay. for the dash randomizer. The colors also has. She she could have gone up to wreck ship, I believe. So we'll see. That that is absolutely right. The back of wreck ship was found, and we yeah. could go around there. But there is no guarantee we could turn on the wreck ship. Yeah, I think true. we're gonna go check ice beam. Maybe, maybe take a save first in case it's garbage. I don't know. Yeah, smart. Nope, we're tank, just so. oh, we're just oh. going. Uh, what? Well, I'm confused. Oh, she's, she's just getting power bombs, I think. Um, right now. Yeah, the I, good power bomb farm. I I concur. Good idea. In fact, with 15 power bombs, 20 super missiles, and 15 missiles maximum, uh, this could be just making sure we have a crystal flash in the tank. Yeah, true. Although I think colors is good enough to get into ice and out with just uh, three in a in a reserve, I think she could do that for sure. Oh, absolutely. I think um, more considering uh, if we went on to get, um, to Bubble Mountain through Cathedral. Oh, true. Yeah. Well, that's a tough hell run with three, three plus one, and I don't know. But yeah, with a crystal well, flash, that's good. Cool. I I believe four tanks puts the uh, puts Cathedral in logic or puts Bubble Mountain in logic through Cathedral. Does um, not, however, put the item in Cathedral in Logic. I think you need six for that. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, so okay, just going straight for it. Colors didn't check ice, right? So nope. Just gonna, Colors uh, did not uh, check ice, and Zeb is coming over here, gonna do the early x ray check. Very yeah. neat trick for anyone who's never seen it. Um, not gonna pay out with anything. The best Zeb could find over here would be a super oh. missile or a power bomb, and the power bomb is debatable. 
colors finds uh, screw attack under there, and I think she wants it. She's gonna bend the crystal flash to grab it. Oh, well, now like, oh. was late on the flash, <sighs> but does have a save, so that's not yeah. bad. Just like Zeb yeah. had a save outside of X-ray, so double reset. Here we go. And now Colors knows what's there, so she could just skip it and come back to it with a little more help. So. That's true as well. Um, maybe going to go check ice, the ice location now and possibly bail. We'll see. Yeah, or sure possibly just farming up to get that reserve full. I think Colors thought there was more uh, health in that reserve tank. Maybe. Go for it. She is. But more health this time. Yep, gonna yeah, get I it in Crystal it. Flash. I like it. Screw attack, one of those very nice quality of life items. Uh, the earlier you get it, the better it is for you through the game, like most movement items. I get those reserves empty. No. Yeah, you gotta she didn't have much uh, in there, that... but she did have something, so she, yeah, she's got yep. a few of those reserves. Well, that was quite unfortunate, and that's handing a lot of time to Zeb now. It is. Vibrant taking a moment to compose herself. I agree. You know, you can get... Yeah get a little flustered, get a little tilted. Also might just be thinking about, okay, what's the best move from here, given the information? Right, right. She resetting to an earlier save? Gotta be. Maybe not. And then, well, maybe checking, maybe thought there was an earlier save that was a little bit further back, but not as li little uh, loss, but too much time loss there. So I, I agree. Don't don't take a huge time loss. Right. Yeah, keep doing it. You almost had it, Colors. You, 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 you were very close. There you go. Yep. Can't, can't. There, that's the Five that's health. the spirit. Uh, yeah, see, colors had that it that with fight. plenty because you could even come down here and get into the area as long as you got all these enemies killed. You can pick up this screw attack, then you can just pop right back up here on the platform and crystal flash there. Yeah. Did colors save scum ice and we just I I just missed it possible that that happened we'll see all right we got the crystal flash this time uh, i did not see what was in crumble tower but zeb didn't pick e it up so whatever it was it had to have been some kind of ammo it was e -tank. and no i don't think colors did check ice so we're about to find out from zeb what's over here zeb five e tanks various suit probably pretty comfortable And it's the spring ball. Okay, so that is a major, which means that Colors is going to probably find one major over here and then spend some time checking everything else uh, and not finding anything. It is unfortunate. This, this is quite unfortunate without Varia's suit. Um, too. Well, all I will say is that you can't do the blue bomber without spring ball. It's true. This is unfortunate for colors because she doesn't have, still doesn't have any way to get across the moat, really, um, other than CWJ. And uh, I don't know. That's it. She's got to go. That's where she's got to go. Yeah, that's really it. Um, it's CWJ, or she's got to find another transition that leads to the top of Green Bryn. Yeah. Well, we saw top of Green Bryn. That, what was that? That was... Uh... Was that in Red Tower? Um, Zeb saw it. Man, I didn't write it down. Zeb saw it, though. 
Uh, yeah, Colors does have Morph Ball Bombs, so a Horizontal Bomb Jump could be done for uh, Moat. Horizontal Bomb Jump is a lot more consistent than the CWJ, but you have to be practiced at it, otherwise it just is not fun to do. Right, I feel like CWJ is easier if you know how to set it up. Uh, bomb Jump might be easier if you're just trying to get across, you know what I'm saying? But either way, yep. it's tough. I'm. I'm saying I want space jump and grapple beam, and I'm still falling in the moat three times. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Oh yeah, top of green, Bryn. Thank you, Jestro. Was red fish, so that's not something that uh, colors is gonna find here. Ooh, now, if double oh, double power bombs at Norfair Reserve. That's not nice. I think the front of it was a power bomb, also. What was it? <laughs> So Varya is either past moat or gravity is up in wreck ship and we can get to it. Um, and then we can go roundabout ways to get there. Yeah. We still got this wave check. So possible wave beam could be gravity still. Well, at this point, if wave beam is gravity, Zeb's got an even bigger lead than he does already. It's true. Yeah, just for coming in here, Green Hills was was aqueduct uh, or some not accessible anyway. So there's no way that yeah. Colors is going to stumble upon uh, Green Brin Star without that CWJ as of right now. So yeah, because it's totally West Meridia lock. That's unfortunate. Mm -hmm. So the next best thing for uh, Colors would be to find uh, again. One of the items that makes the moat crossing much easier, such as space jump, grapple, or the dash specific double jump item. Speed booster would help. Um, yep, speed booster. I always forget yeah. that one. Mm -hmm. Heck, even spring ball. If she goes back to ice, spring ball jumps easier than a CWJ. Bounce ball or whatever they call it. Yep. Is gonna find her double power bombs here. Very nice. Yeah, I think took a save before checking Norfair Reserve. Perfect, perfect time yeah. to do a save scum. Very smart. And now we have Zeb coming over here to the wave location. What do we got behind gate number one? Oh, it's a gravity suit. Yeah, this is it. Way to go. So that is. Uh, Need some ammo or charge go mode for Zeb. So still not quite in full go mode, but really just in uh, easier things to collect. Uh, ammo's yeah. everywhere. In let's go mode, basically. I think Zeb still needs, um, I mean, possibly Zeb still needs a way to get through Batoon's hallway. Uh, we don't have that yet. So we're still looking for Icer Speed. I, I mean, That's I'm sure Zeb can do a, a Crystal Flash clip, but... Uh, yeah, this the crystal flash clip won't be in logic. It is possible, however unlikely, that uh, Dragon could be shifted to a location, and we might get uh, be able to go in through the backside and not true. have to go through Batwoon. That is true. Zeb's not taking that. That was lower north here. Zeb's not taking that. That's interesting. Um, yeah, that's and cool. gravity heat protection is on. Chat with the good eyes on that counter. Only going down 75% as fast as it was. Oh, this is an interesting decision. Well, we do have a Crystal Flash for Vibrance, so not as dangerous, but holy cow. <laughs> There's the other side of Lower Norfair for other, Zeb. All Lower Norfair. Down. So, oops, Lower Norfair everywhere. So, honestly, if you've got a choice, you take the back one. For sure. I think that's where he's going. And there's our criteria. Yeah, I think uh, Colors might have known this was here. From much earlier in the seed, because we did see this. Yeah. Still have not seen a boss. We're about a half hour in. 
and uh, still no bosses. This is early part of the seed. It's not really friendly as far as getting the bosses done. Nope, I think our first boss we're going to see is going to be on Seb's side in a couple of minutes. What's our prediction for bosses today? Uh, they're all going to be dead. <laughs> Just dead to start. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. You meant what, what boss mode are we going to have? Um, well, I already got your prediction, which is surprise. Um, yeah. I, I have to be contrarian to that and say it'll be definitely surprise. And that'll be okay, a definite right. surprise for everyone. Interesting. All right. Yeah. Well, we'll see. We'll see. We got a couple options here. What if this was like Zelda? Zelda 1 where the bosses can spawn with 1 HP. I think that would be crazy. We should randomize HP of bosses. Oh, no. That would be that just. Terrible. Yeah. Well. Yeah, could you just imagine Ridley with uh, an unfortunately large amount of health? There's the right. speed booster. There's your bot wound item here in Lorne Warfare at Fire Fleas. Also, another item that will get colors across that moat, unfortunately. So, yeah, but I don't think colors is going to be going down there to get it. <laughs> no, I'm saying, yeah, I'm saying that's out of the way. That's not going to be one that she comes across. So that's one out of the pool. And colors, by the way, doing all kinds of crazy crystal flashes. Absolutely. This is some good health management out of colors. Uh, a little bit of unfortunateness in Cathedral earlier, but we're going to just chalk all that up to race nerves. No. <laughs> I feel so bad. Colors is going to check this bottom left portal. It's going to be disappointed again, you know? Well, Zeb's picking up some super missiles of shame over here. Hey, I'll take them. Going into possibly Ridley with only 30. Might as well get 35. Let's do it. Ah, 60 regular missiles is a pretty good backup on uh, 30 supers. That is true. Plus 27 power bombs. I mean, that's nothing to scoff at either. Yeah. True story. I think yeah, this is. Save. I feel like Colors yeah. could just revert to her save when she sees this lower Norfair portal here. We'll see what she does. That that would be a good idea. Um, this is just all kinds of unfortunateness. This is... No one likes to see this, but this is what Rando can do to people. Mm -hmm. Did anybody ask for Kraid? Little old Kraid. shifted... He's, we've got a uh, shuffled Kraid, not shifted. Shuffled so we have Kraid, shuffled yeah. bosses tonight. So this is Kraid uh, at Kraid in Kraid's lair, which means we have shuffled bosses. Um, Ridley is somewhere else. So the one nice thing about that is if you were comfortable, you had enough E tanks and had the gravity suit, which Colors does with the heat reduction and screw attack. A suitless Nora Norfair is much easier uh, when, you know, Ridley's not at the end of it. Of course, Colors doesn't have any of this knowledge, so right. not going to really help. Yeah, yeah, that's true. All right, so Colors going to head back up. She has... I think she's just taking a save. She's got no way to get out of Croc Escape, I believe. Does high jump get you up um, there? Well, not without speed, I don't think. No, nope. high jump doesn't. Morph ball bombs can. You can IBJ, but it oh, will be bombs. tight. Yeah, she's got bombs. That's what she's thinking for sure. Yeah, but you gotta be, you gotta be perfect here. And this is really far to the right. This is gonna be close. So colors is uh, oh man. Colors is going to hit up ice because she's realized now that she missed a major in ice. So she'll check that out. She'll find spring ball. And then that could be a moat item for for her if she knows the bounce ball trick, which isn't too difficult. Um, so we'll see. We'll see what happens here. Yep, definitely a possibility. Um, less, we're, okay, we're farming some power bombs. I think we're going to do that just to have a crystal flash ready to go. Yeah, smart. 
Again, Color's doing a great job of managing the resources here to make sure that uh, we that we can survive without the Varia suit down here. Just uh, unfortunate that the CWJ was uh, unfriendly. Meanwhile, meanwhile, Zeb is, is on a tear here. Um, he's made, pretty much made every correct choice um, going in, which is uh, pretty impressive. Um, kudos. That is Super Metroid. Just pull off all the tricks. Go to where all the items are, and you're gonna probably do better than your opponent. It comes down to one one thing. Up in up in criteria, Zeb went to the right. Colors went down, and uh, one way was more better. <laughs> I don't know. You know, that's that's, that's Super Metroid. No, randomizer. that's that is any randomizer. And we see that high jump was enough to get up there. Uh, Zeb just showed us that. Question in the chat: Surprise can look like uh, surprise can look like shifted or vanilla. There's no way to know. No, there's no way to know it's surprise until we've seen all four bosses. I think. Um, um, with surprise, so it will either be it'll look like shifted or vanilla. The right. way you can confirm surprise, the only way is to see a second of a second boss, basically. No, I think it's well. If you see all like a repeat, a second repeat boss, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah, any anything else, it'll either be shifted or vanilla, but you can't tell until that very last boss. I think I talked it backwards, but you you got it right. So that's that's what I, that's what I was thinking. That's okay. I talk backwards all the time and. Honestly, it's it's not as as bad as it as it seems. Yeah. And I'm being told you actually need speed to make that jump in Croc Escape because chat knows more about this game than I do, which isn't much of a surprise because I really don't know too much. I just come up here and talk. Yeah. Right. Yeah, speed gets you that little bit more to get up and uh, and do that wall jump. Yep, run speed is important. Thanks, M. Keystone, for uh, correcting me. Uh, that's one of the games we do play here, is how many mistakes on comms will JX make tonight? <laughs> but it's really on chat to keep track of that, because I'm not going to keep track of that. That's just too embarrassing. Plus, I can't count that high. Right, colors is going up. Oh, wow. charge is speed locked in Main Street. Jeez. So basically everything is just coming up Zeb tonight. Yeah, sure is. With only with the shift with the shoveled bosses, Zeb's not checking the boss there. Um yeah, well, not, there's now Dorian. To, but there is Dorian. This boss could be Fantoon, but it could be, um, I mean, it could be Ridley, could be Dragon. So we got a couple options here. Ridley or Dragon, because it's shuffled, uh, will not wake the ship. So. Absolutely. If, I mean, I don't know what he's looking for. I mean, he's looking for charge, I suppose. That's like one of the main things he's looking for. But yeah, if it's not Fantoon, we're not checking the ship. So. Nope. And we that... didn't bother. The reason we didn't bother killing the boss is because we're just going to take care of the boss on the way to Torian. Colors, in the meantime, has acquired a Varia suit. Let's go, Colors. Dang it, I was not looking. How did she get across the moat? Did she see WJ? Um, she that? did something amazing. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah, I think it was. Awesome. I, I'm going to say it was probably the spring ball. Yeah, I think so. I was too busy looking in chat and seeing Kairos calling out that I could make a million mistakes on comms, which honestly, that would be impressive to make that many mistakes in this short of a run. That would be impressive as heck, yes. All right, Color's going to go see what Spospo is hiding from us tonight. Where was Wave? Wave was here, but you remember where it was? Uh, it was in Big Pink outside of Mission Impossible. Oh, okay. So it's just right up there. Two 
two mages in East Meridia. Uh, Zeb is hoping for charge. Not going to find charge here. Could find other beams. Um, Supers are good. Supers are good. We'll, we'll potentially find charge in West Meridia at the... Uh, at Main Street. So we'll have to see if that does come to fruition. Oh, Crow Toxic in the chat reminding me that uh, Colors has Gravity Suit. So there's a mistake for me. You can you can add that to my tally. Uh, Colors just went through Meridia to get to Green Brand Star, of course. So Well, you know, that's the easy way. <laughs> of course. And here, and here he is, the snake with the worst hitbox imaginable, Bawoon. Ugh. And there's our wave beam for colors. Colors now knows there's nothing else of value here. Um, just some portal checks to do. Maybe some ammo checks. And we see Bawoon's item is a reserve tank. Uh, Zeb says no thank you and speeds right underneath it. Here's our, let's see if we can get our full halfy here. Zeb. Oh, and we got, the, we got the, we uh, got the, what was it? The what's up spark. Yeah. In the meantime, Colors at the top of Green Bryn. Zeb just on a boss hunt right now. Still a little ammo short of go mode. Um, two supers. There's the ice beam at Precious Missiles. Nice. Ice is nice. I think that Zeb's probably going to check some ammo on its way. So we'll check this. We'll check like if this is Dragon, Dragon's item, boss items. Um... Oh yeah, it's this Dragon. is Dragon. Vanilla Dragon. He's pretty close. 70-40 uh, if he had four more super packs. I mean, that would definitely be good. Three might even be doable. Yeah, I'm not sure two, math on two, two more super packs will be enough. Uh, not comfortable, but can be done right. with two. Now, especially with ice. Now that we have a Zeb skip as well. Um, well, Zeb has speed. Um, I'm pretty sure Zeb can see can do a speed Zeb skip. I mean, it is named after him after all. <laughs> it's true. Or is he named after them? I have no idea. <laughs> As uh, Colors sees the other side of the moat and oh, now no. is exceptionally sad. Yeah. Like. I, I think that's a a real sinking feeling right there, yeah. and not just that's because just, we're at the bottom of the moat. Yeah, that's just like a, ugh, you know. Like that. But I mean, the only thing it, it could be her saving grace here is that she might think that Zeb didn't do that CWJ, right? Because it, it it was not the obvious thing to do at the time. So we'll see. Yeah, maybe, but. I think she's also going to probably, just as most racers do, think your opponent always makes some of the best plays possible. Right. And CW Day by Zeb it would not be a completely surprising thing. Uh, honestly, I'm a little surprised that Vibrant didn't get it. But I am also not upset at seeing a bailout on it because, you know, we saw Zeb did not get it first time either. Zeb did, took quite a bit of time to get that trick. Yeah. He did. And the bailout wasn't for like something bad. It was for Red Brin. I mean, that's not a bad bailout at all. So, nope, not at all. And we see Zeb going through Cack Alley here. Uh, we've got to be running out of locations where Crade's warehouse could be. I think our tracker, uh, Jestro, has said that Crade has to be here at the back of East Meridia. Or some such. Yeah. Jestro's probably I, right. If Jestro said it and I remembered it correctly, then perfect. If Jestro didn't say it and I just totally made that all up, then, well, you know, that's what you get when I'm on comms late at night. <laughs> we haven't talked about this yet, but both these runners um, are three and two in these first five Swiss weeks here. 
So uh, they're both playoff bound. I think three and three is, is the playoff kind of threshold. Um, but the winner here will be four and two going into the playoffs. And they'll have a little bit uh, of a better time, a better matchup, I guess. At least but, earlier in the playoffs, yeah, right? Early on, right, yeah. So this is kind of what they're playing for here today. Um, they're both in the playoffs as it stands right now. They're just kind of playing for their spot. Yep, this is a seeding match, folks. And to the surprise of absolutely no one, Jestro was correct. And here is Kraid at the Forgotten yeah. Highway side yeah, of... Oh, two majors here? What? Spazer, yeah. let's go. That's good for Zeb. Well, that means Zeb will have new route beam should Zeb find the charge beam. Yeah. Also, that means that up here is going to be the other major because we saw the item behind Kraid. And it's just the X-ray scope. Um, yeah, no charge beam, no plasma beam. X-ray isn't a pointless pickup. And who's home with Kraid? It is Fantoon. Which means Vibrant, uh, should she go down to the boss here, will discover Ridley, the uh, least favorite boss of Super Metroid. And that's, uh, we, uh, she can need all her ammo that she's got. She can need most of it to be able to do this fight, so. Yeah, this, uh, to be able to do this fight with this ammo uh, is actually, I don't think possible. I think we're I short on supers. And All there's right. no place to get supers in wreck ship. So, uh, another disappointment, unfortunately. We'll see. Yeah, uh, Vibrant doesn't have enough ammo here. It has to reset it. But did did take this? He has the Ripper outside that requires. You could trade a power bomb for a super, but. How much farming is that, Kairos? Well, she's got uh, screw attack, so. I guess you could use screw attack, but you're still gonna have to reset that room like eight times. Yeah, it's gonna take a while for sure. I think she's probably yeah. gonna bail because she knows. Gonna that bail it and run. now this is this is where you get slightly punished because you're gonna go. Check this uh, <laughs> transition and find Torian, and then it's just like the worst case scenario. I know, and Colors is just having a having a rough go here. Uh, she's gonna find Torian. Actually, here. those those supers you might consider might now consider turning around and giving Ridley a shot. Um, True. But I mean, I mean, you can't. There's nothing here for you if you want. Once she finds Torian, um, she knows that there's nothing here for her because if she kills ridley there's no items to pick up it doesn't matter she can't get these these two majors so i mean it, it yeah the, come back. the only potential item would be behind ridley which is the one major in lower norfare but unfortunately right. that major is it is at fire fleas uh so this this has just been a a seed that has beat vibrant up which is unfortunate right. as right. zeb has made seemingly almost every single correct decision Rando being Rando. Rando gonna Rando after all. Vibrant choosing to go back through wreck ship instead of resetting to a save. That's an interesting choice. I wonder if she doesn't have a save. Well, at the very least, she had a save in ship, but... Um... That wouldn't have saved very much time from the Turian walk back in, especially after spending the seven seconds to pick up the super missile on Ocean. Question in chat from Horsefinger1, who rolled this seed? Inertia, the dash randomizer bot, the greatest seed rolling bot of all time. So Zeb is heading out. Uh, his last stop here is going to be Wreck Ship. 
I don't remember exactly how to get there, but I'm sure Zeb knows. Um, yeah, Zeb's Zeb's making a beeline. Probably still wants a little bit more ammo. Uh, we're in a little bit of a comfortable spot, a little bit more comfortable, but it's still no. We're not. We're still one super one more, right? short. No, one yeah. Yeah. Though I think, let's see. Hmm. I'm not so sure if you break the glass. You might be able to do it with breaking the glass on a refill, but that's not very fast. No, it is not. And we have Vibrant back into Upper Norfair. I think heading towards Lower Norfair at this point. That is the other thing. When we were talking about Bot Wound hallway items, we know Crate is the back of East Meridia, so we can't get in that way even if we did have Dragon down. Uh, Crystal Flash or Speed Booster is the only access. Uh, Speed Booster, the intended access, but again, uh, Colors has neither of those at this juncture. Well, Ice was there. Where was... Ice was... Uh... Precious room. I, right. Ice is precious, yeah, but ice that's after. Precious. I get what you're saying, yeah. Yeah, so that was our logical access, the speed down here. Yeah, and what Zeb can do here is uh, ship will be on. So Zeb can check a lot of items here in the ship just on the way to Torian. And there's uh, three relative, well, two relatively fast, no, three relatively fast and one a little bit slower check. And we know at least one of those is supers. We also know no charge, which he does not know. So um, see how much he checks here. Well, there's uh, super pack number one. That's uh, now we're now we're in a much more comfortable go mode. And by much more comfortable, I mean, we're actually in ammo go mode without a refill. Still think you might check a couple more spots. Just one more super might be a little bit more comfy. Uh, space jump may be in wreck ship. Um, uh, we're oh, we kind of running low on items, our locations for our majors, so we're entirely possible. Again. We're missing. Uh, we haven't seen grapple and we haven't seen space, and that's it. Yeah. You'll take them. Absolutely, and I think the the next check will be uh, the ocean, which is another pack of supers. And because this is area rando, we will be receiving an ammo refill and a health refill as we take the elevator down into Torian. Still keep an account one extra item, which means we did have uh, double jump, so there could be double jump in the ship. Or heat shield, yeah, or heat shield. Well, I will let Jestro do all that math because, as I like to say, because it's absolutely true, I am not licensed to do math on stream. Zeb absolutely making a mockery of Ridley in this fight. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, Crackle Zero. Oh, Wasteland was checked. It was Super Missiles of Shame. And yes, Croc had uh, zero, and that was for Undernet Broker on Croc and F Junk Dump at uh, for the Wasteland information. And you might be wondering, well, gee, JX, why are you putting all that information on the stream? And it's because when people watch this back in 2035 on YouTube, uh, they'll know who asked these very important questions. Vibrant shooting down to take out some of the lag-causing items that we do not see in this room. 
Let's see if we get a quick kill. We get a quick kill. We do not get a quick kill. We get a prom. Very close. Very close. One, one super, one shot away. And missile. And we did see those super missiles in the ocean. 8055, much more comfortable uh, for Zeb. Yes, yes, definitely. Now we have a lot of ammo uh, compared to just before the ship, where we didn't have quite enough. In the meantime, we have Vibrant heading on her way out of Lower Norfair. Uh, correct. DLC does stand for downloadable content. Uh, Crade, when you miss the quick kill, is downloadable content. Nintendo was some of the first downloadable content ever from uh, this game in 1994. This was actually the first, I think, yeah. I think so. All right, Zeb, full ammo out of Metroid Room 4 as Vibrant, uh, still escaping Lower Norfair. Runners did extremely well. Like, like their movement is great. Their, their, uh, you know, their, their choices have been solid. It's just that, uh, you know, one side and a little bit you know, their choices were, were more beneficial, unfortunately, and that's just the way it goes sometimes. That is exactly correct. Sometimes uh, you go right, your opponent goes left, you win, and they lose. Other times uh, you can't get across the moat, which is okay. You go a different way that looks perfectly promising. Your opponent gets across the moat, and the seed is just wrecked for you. Yeah, yeah that is a shame. But, all things considered, we did see quite a few good crystal flashes, some great ammo management, and crisp movement out of both runners. And yeah. there we see Vibrant uh, using a power bomb to show that you can actually morph under all of that in uh, whatever that last room was Vibrant was in. Love that little, that little shortcut. It's very, very handy as uh, Zeb is obliterating the dome of Mother Brain 1. I did not see, did Zeb take a save? I don't believe you so. Well, Zeb has a ton of ammo that can be missed, but, you 20, know. I think you missed 20 missiles, 20 extra missiles, if my math's right. Uh, Pretty close, yeah. So I'd have to miss six or seven supers, which is unlikely, or a whole bunch of missiles. Again, unlikely. If the uh, developers wanted to make this a lot worse, they would make these missiles kill those meatballs and onion rings. Yeah, that would be terrible. I didn't say it was a good idea. <laughs> And yeah, I think that's it. Zeb is through, damaging down, rainbow beam incoming. As Vibrant is almost to our fa uh, is to our favorite friend, the Sea Snack. Nice. Yeah, well played by Zeb. We're going to be at a, a little bit more than an hour, so that is a uh, decent time for what is kind of a picky seed, really, when you think about it. Yeah, this map was not the most kind of maps. Uh, a lot of trolliness, especially the go through, you know, go through, have to go all the way through Wreck Ship just to find Torian, and then go all the way through Meridia to get to uh, Kraid's Lair. Yeah, yeah. The map was tricky.
Uh, Kurt Plop says, Mother Brain may have had an ad deal with Chef Boyardee. Uh, Speed Gaming not sponsored by Chef Boyardee. Hashtag never sponsored. Um, I think actually whoever made up the names for Mother Brain's attacks was just super hungry that time. And of course, because everybody likes to eat, those names have kind of stuck. Uh, we have... We got Vibrant in Coliseum as the baby is eating some onion rings. Ten rounds of onion rings is the baby's daily dose of onion rings, and then we get to say good night, sweet baby. Oh no, the baby. All right, Color's about to get the ice beam. Uh, does know the location of the charge beam, and with this amount of ammo, I would anticipate would route that back in before heading to uh, Ridley. All right, 36 crisp shots of the hyper beam to Mother Brain's dome, and Mother Brain 3 is no more. Vibrant about to face off with Dragon, everybody's favorite shrimp. Vibrant practicing sparks. Zeb into the escape. And I was trying to beat up on Dragon before Zeb escapes. Can, can Colors kill Dragon before Zeb gets to the ship? These are the real questions we have, chat. Do we believe in Colors? I do. I do as well. Of course, that speed booster is saying, <laughs> maybe you should be believing in Zeb. Zeb has something to say about that. Do we make up things? Yes, chat, we do. That's okay. Yeah. And Colors has taken down the shrimp as Zeb has entered the landing site. And Zeb at the ship. Let's get our GGs out for Zeb 316, your race winner with an official race time.gg time of one hour, one minute, and 16 seconds. In the meantime, Vibrant has said, you know what? This seed, get, go away. <laughs> Throwing in the towel. No, no shame there. Let's get some GGs out for yeah, our GGs. race runner up, Vibrant. And we are joined by our race winner, Zeb316. Zeb, GGs. Yeah, GG. Um, I did not feel good about that seed. <laughs> like, I felt decent about the like start getting the Varia right away. Um, but then I spent a lot of time in West Meridia just like checking stuff that I'm not sure that was worth it. It was pretty slow. And then um, choosing wrong between um, Wreck Ship and East Meridia and getting to Torian and then like having to reset and go back to East Meridia was really rough. Um, but once I saw the chart didn't show up, I actually felt a lot more confident because I, I'm really confident in my um, ammo seeds that I can beat most people when, when charge doesn't show up. Um, when charge does show up, then people are able to skip a bunch of ammo and not have to pick that up and then they're a lot more likely to beat me. So, yeah, I felt pretty good when I saw that there wasn't a charge beam at least on path. Yep, we are also joined by our race runner-up, Vibrant Colors, GG Vibrant. GG's, hello here. Um, I'm pretty sure uh, for how bad you are feeling about the seed, Seb, Vibrant probably feels a lot worse. <laughs> wow. When I found that Vaya was there, like, it's done, GG's, there's no way. Zeb definitely came here. Zeb is somebody who I'm sure is a lot better than me at execution. So placing that Vaya right there, when my main plan at the time was to gamble that something was in her point of her, there was, there was gravity, but mm -hmm. what's the point of that with Vaya right behind the modes? Yep. At that point, I was there like, there's no way. This I really lost. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, there was definitely a divergence there then. Like, I went over Moat, you went to Red Tower. There could have been something in Red Tower. I didn't get back to Red Tower for a long time. So, um, yeah, I think that there was definitely potential for you to take this one. Um, I think that, yeah, if Charge was on path two, that would have helped a lot. Um, I saw that you're still at, like, 35-30, so... That... I know what Charge was. I plan to collect it on the way to Torian. Oh, yeah. You saw, you Half know. is in Main Street in West Malidia. Okay, yep, yep. Yeah, I saw them in the credits, but I did not, um, I was not able to see that during the race, so. I found it and was there, like, I need ammo or speed. For mm -hmm. Malidia, I need speed or ice. There's a good chance I will find speed, so let's try to find speed. Mm -hmm. I did find speed in Lower Norfer, and I was trying to route to finish the game. Mm-hmm. I barely yeah, beat yeah. Dragon as you were done. I still needed to get yeah. to the back of Maridia. I still needed to kill Ridley. Yeah, that's a rough end though. Like it, it you're kind of just like going through the end game though. So you're you're kind of like already done to some extent. Like you're just going to the bosses where you know that you need to be. Um kind of boss rush ending there. So yeah. I do like, like it for the rewarding opportunities it gives. Like here, for example, I did plan to just get charged on the way to Ridley. Mm -hmm. Let me think, how did yeah. you, how would you do that? So you would go through, I guess, yep, you go through Criteria into Green Brinstar and go from there to get into West Meridia. Yeah, that wouldn't be too bad. Yeah, simple, like that. Mm -hmm. You had a plan, like that's what we were kind of saying the whole time, like colors, that you, for what you found, you played it well you know like you you went where you're supposed to go it's just that that one that one divergence like 10 minutes in is what uh, is what hurts you the most yeah the the one thing i will say is you are both attempting the cwj at the same time mm -hmm. and uh yeah. that vibrant I, I felt really bad about too because i <laughs> i got the frame the first four times like the first jump i got the first jump four times in a row to start and i just didn't get the second jump any of them and i couldn't get yeah that 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 was pretty bad for me like it took me probably that's, like a and a half to get over the that's mark. right there that was the c trying to give me a chance trying to say like no zeb you don't do this you're too strong <laughs> i'm surprised you didn't give up zeb honestly like i would have been like oh this is, why can't i get the second jumps i'll just go to red bridge star who cares you know i'm surprised you didn't do that yeah, I just hate abandoning portals. Like, if it's Tori, yeah. it's really important that you know that. If it's Croc, mm -hmm. it's pretty important that you know that. If it's Crate, it's really important that you know that. So, um, yeah, I yeah. I don't like abandoning portals. No, I especially agree. when they're isolated like that one. Well, that's like, certainly I, I, something I agree with. Uh, go ahead, Seb. I'm sorry. I kind of did abandon the portal instead at the top of Red Tower, and I felt kind of bad about that too, because um, I, I kind of had to choose which portal to abandon, um, top of Red Tower or um, the Moat portal. And I think that I kind of should have done something a little bit different. I think I should have gone to Red Tower and checked those top three items in Red Tower, um, and then probably gone up the elevator and checked that portal first before doing CWJ, but... Yeah, there was um, that one major in, in Red Brand, yep, so yep. have been right there. The one major in Red Brand should have made me do that, I mm -hmm. think. So I think that was just a mistake, but... Well, it's all good, you know? I mean, it, it, it all came out for the best, so... Yep. Oh, do you remember uh, last tournament, me and you matched up and uh, CWJ was required, and uh, I... I couldn't get it for... Mm -hmm. 30 minutes do you remember that i do remember <laughs> us matching up i didn't remember that that was what happened in the seed um but yeah C cwj required does not come up all that often in these um i've had a couple of seeds even like vanilla map I've, i had one seed but in the first season that i was playing that was like one of the worst vanilla map seeds i've played i think i finished that one like an hour and a half and still won but um yeah, I don't think it was yeah. technically required here in this one. You could have got grabbed. Yeah, it definitely and, and was not required in and, this one. Yeah. Yeah. I think could you've gotten Spring Ball? Where was Spring Ball? You could have yeah, gotten Bombs. Ball. Bombs was in Red Tower. Um, mm -hmm. that would have let you 
HVJ across the moat. Yeah, the bombs are in Red Tower at Very Spazer speedy. and... What's that? I was just going to say, Spring Ball, I believe, was at Ice, wasn't it? Yep, yep, it was at Ice. Yeah. That's right. So, you could get those, you could get the gravity suit. Um, yeah, I think those were the only ways across the moat, though. We didn't have space jump, we didn't find grapple, we, speed was locked behind Varia, so you're not getting that. So one thing we did get to see is that the um, heat reduction did roll on for the gravity suit. Oh, so okay. mm -hmm. that that was one nice thing for uh, Vibrant when she picked that up. Mm -hmm. Wow, it would have been nice if it was not glitter high the last high time it had gone off there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you get in and you're like, okay, cool. And then you just leave the heated area, so. Yep. Yeah, I feel, um, I feel pretty bad about um, last locationing the gravity to in Norfair. Like, I didn't feel horrible because I felt like it would have been kind of kind of crazy to go to wave before speed um, from like the way that I did upper Norfair. But I'm curious. Um, Colors, did you do Norfair through Criteria, like through single chamber, or did you go through Cathedral to get to the gravity? I came to Cathedral. Okay, yeah, so going that way. Yeah, that that way it doesn't work out quite as well in this seed. Um, is if you just go straight from the I Criteria portal. I was correct, portal. I can notice that I messed up with Sprite something, so I had to fix my Sprites to get oh. the proper uh, uh, Scratch -like animation. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's unfortunate. But then I yeah, went to speed I, into Norfair Reserve and then a little wave beam, yeah. Yep, yeah. Yeah, so last locationing that item too. Like Um Yeah, I, I really dislike these seeds where um for me at least I had two portals left. One of them was Tori and one of them was Craid, and both of them were on opposite ends of um <laughs> boss locations and it's just like okay well i hope i pick right and i didn't pick right and i was like ah hopefully that doesn't cost me this race because <laughs> that i went in like yeah. a ship and i also felt like i picked wrong yeah 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 going to just ridley and torian yeah. like yep come on yeah <laughs> well you're both in the playoffs uh yep. zeb you're gonna have a little bit of a higher seed than than colors will um, are you looking forward to next week? We'll go back to best of three and, and uh, a little bit more high stakes next week. You guys, you looking forward to it? Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm glad that I get this win so I'm not, um, potentially I'm not matched up against some crazy person first yeah. um, round. We'll see. Like, there are definitely going to be some 3-3s three that are scary. Um, I think I'm probably going to get paired against a 3-3. Three three. As a 4 2. Um, I don't think I'm going to get a buy. I think that the top four ish seeds are going to get buys. I think that there are some number between 27 and 29 people that are going to qualify. So either anywhere from three to five people are going to get buys for the first round. Um, so hopefully I get a high enough seed that I'm, that my first round isn't super scary. And then um, hoping to go far in that in the playoffs. I, yeah, I'm excited. Yeah. I'm excited to watch. Um, it's going to be good. So, mm -hmm. any last minute thoughts from uh, either of you here? Uh, I guess um, just GG again to covers. Um, I can't say I was enjoying the seat as I was playing. <laughs> I was a little bit um anxious about some of the things that went on, but um. Still always fun playing Super Metroid, and I am very much looking forward to the playoffs. I am just happy it was an actual Aria Rando with the Arias properly mixed up. Yep, I have pretty I unlucky seats of final tournaments mm -hmm. with vanilla Aria or just spaghetti, the longest spaghetti of your life. For yeah. once, it was almost a normal Aria Rando. It was pretty good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I, I was really... um. I really don't like full countdown, so I was already really upset when that rolled. Um, I think the full countdown is just not <laughs> adds a lot more variance. Yeah, my least favorite of the three. Um, yeah, 
I prefer that to Chozo, though. No, well, I, I prefer Chozo. I think that um, Major Minor is the best, though. Major Minor, I think, is yeah. definitely sure. the best. Um, old school. But... Yep, yeah, old school. But, um... yeah, so once I saw the um, full was rolled, I was like, oh, God. Because I, I one of my losses earlier in the tournament was to a um, full um, vanilla map seed was rolled, and I was like, like that's my worst nightmare. I, I never want to play a full countdown vanilla map seed. Um, so I was really worried it was going to be that this time too. And was really glad it wasn't at least that. So awesome. Um, you know, hey, thanks both of you for running, uh, giving us a show here tonight. You both did great. Like we said, your movement was on point. It's just uh, a couple decisions, you know, making the difference here. Um, and uh, we really appreciate you running for us. Uh, thanks to Jestro for tracking here tonight. Um, please follow our trackers, follow our runners. You can follow uh, my co-com, JXB Adam, as well. Um, and uh, if there's nothing else, I guess JXB Adam, close us out here. Tell us what's going on next and, and, and close us out. All right. So uh, first off, definitely follow the runners if you're not following them already. Uh, the runners, uh, definitely the stars of the show. And the reason we're here without runners playing this game, we don't have a game being played. So it's just me and Lies up here talking about the weather and nobody wants to listen to that. Um, I do. And <laughs> you do? Yes, I do. Oh, OK. <laughs> Alrighty then, uh, follow our tracker, Jestro. Jestro, the greatest Super Metroid tracker of all time. Uh, helping with setup tonight too, definitely deserves a follow. Not sure if Jestro streams, but follow him anyway. And follow my co-com, Lies and Gasoline. If you follow me, you're going to find out I never stream, and that's just uh, not going to be too much fun. And let me go find the schedule so I can tell everybody in chat what's coming up tomorrow. I got it here if, you, if you're still pulling it up. Uh, tomorrow, oh. let's see. We got, yep, I've uh, got it too. Go oh, ahead, you want to read them off? Oh, I'll just say we got a race at uh, we got a race at 6, we got a race at 10, we got a race... At uh, three, we got lots of races tomorrow. They're all kind of spread out. They all have streams, are all on speed gaming, um, and they're all between some very excellent runners. And they're going to put on a, a a great show for you. Yes, geez, four hours away, Jastro. Oh my gosh, it's so late for me. Yeah, so there's a lot of races tomorrow, and uh, they're all spread out. You can watch them all. That's right. Our next race is in four hours at 6.10 a.m. It's a Draxus versus Fringo right here on Speed Gaming. For the other races that are coming up, uh, check the Speed Gaming schedule. They should all be posted there. Um, the last things I'm going to say is thank you to Speed Gaming for allowing us to use your networks to stream these games without Speed Gaming. We don't have a network or channel to stream on, and man, that is just as bad as me and Lies talking about the weather. Though I promise, Lies, next time in the pre-race room, I will go ahead and make it a point to talk to you about the weather a little bit so we can start all warmed up with that. Yes, thank you. Any time. And so with that, on behalf of myself, JXB Adam, my co-com, Lies and Gasoline, the most excellent Super Metroid tracker, Jestro Zooks, and our two amazing runners, Zeb316, and a system of vibrant colors, I would like to wish everybody a good night and to say to all of you, we will see you next mission. <laughs>